Okay, guys, I'm at uh, Miriam Logan residence. She's using a 16 by 25 by 1 1 inch filter on the left hand side of return that's pinned right up against the side of the furnace. Here's her condensate drain coming down, going over to the sump pump right here by the washer and dryer. It's also got a utility sink right here. Would be nice to get this up off the floor where it's not running in to a problem with people walking across this floor. Uh, furnace is up on a slab underneath there about an inch and bricks on the return propping it up. Uh, your electrical is over here on the right hand side and then here's the huge mess with the furnace. This uh, pipe's been holding water. Water's been coming, leaking into the furnace, and pretty much has destroyed it. Um, you have a three-ton coil. There's your label on that. So your flue right now is going up and over out the side of the house, right over here. That's approximately about 25 foot long, but it's got some issues. Um, here is the way your furnace looks, where your coil looks. There's the top of your ductwork on the supply. There's your shut off on the gas line. Then it turns into flex, and they crammed it inside the furnace there. And um, here's the back of your ductwork. Long about right now, you guys should be getting excited about this video. There is a vent down here that she has that she can open or shut. Right now it's closed on the return side. And so this is what you're looking at down here as far as replacing everything. Your refrigerant line, three quarter, three eighths, running up and out the side of the home right over here. So, very short refrigerant line. It's hard to get that light on there. Pretty soon I'll get an iPad where you guys can actually see my videos. Um, it's been like this for quite some time, I know. But uh, anyway, that's what we look like, fellas. Thanks for watching.